This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at how to increase the shelf height in Maya. This can be super helpful if you've got a lot of shelf buttons, so let's get into it. Okay, so my custom shelf only fills up to about here or whatever, and I've got some stuff down here as well, but I've seen people that have this top row completely filled for a single shelf. And what can be really annoying about that is Maya offers you a way to kind of scroll down here. You can use the middle mouse wheel and you can scroll it. And I've often done that by mistake, actually, where you scroll it and then I thought my whole shelf was deleted, which can be super scary. But you can use these buttons here. You can scroll and you can basically go down to the second layer of the shelf. So I've just made a test shelf here we can take a look at. So click over here. So I've got a ton of buttons here. And as I scroll down, you can see there it reveals like the extra set or whatever, but that can be really annoying. And what often people would like is just a second row of shelf buttons, just like too tall, I guess. Instead of having to like scroll down and scroll back and forth, that can be like really kind of confusing. Okay, so Maya actually supports this. You can actually increase the shelf height. You just have to do it through using some secret code in the script editor. So let's just go up to Windows, General Editors, and then open up the script editor. And now that we've got that open, you can see here's the command to change the shelf height. So you do layout, E for edit, height, and then you type in the height in pixels and then the shelf layout there. So I believe 35 is the default. That's what it's set to at one row. And then if you want it to increase it to exactly two rows, you run this command here, which is 90 pixels. It's kind of weird. It's not exactly the number of pixels you might think. So I'm just going to select all of this text here, and then I'm going to press enter on the numeric keyboard, the numpad keyboard, to run the code here. And boom, there we go. And now you can see it's actually a little bit cut off. And this is interesting because the 91 is a perfect two rows when I'm running my monitor at native resolution. But because I'm recording a video, I'm running the monitor at 1080p, which is not its native resolution. So I guess the value that you want to type in here is going to be kind of specific to your own version of Maya. But that's no problem. You can just change this number until you get something that we're happy with. Let's try like 96, let's say, and just select all of that stuff again and hit enter on the numpad. And boom, there we go. So now we've got two rows of shelf and we don't have to do any scrolling here. You can see everything you want. And if you wanted to increase it even further, you could just, you know, come into here and just keep typing stuff in until you get exactly what you need. Let's try 150. You can go crazy. You can make this as tall as you want, but I don't think most people are going to want more than exactly two rows, but you never know. It's there if you want to use it. So 96 for this one. Enter. There we go. And then let's just try the uh, setting it back to 35 here, press enter. Yeah, so 35 sets it back to a single row. And then let's just set it back to 96 one more time. And so that's pretty cool. And you're probably pretty excited now. And now there is going to be a trap. If you close Maya, let's just go over here and close Maya. Don't save wait for it to close for 10 million years. Okay, there it's closed. And then I'm just going to go to programs and launch Maya again. Wait for it to load. Okay, it's loaded. And you'll notice right away, as soon as Maya restarts, even though we saved all our preferences and everything, the shelf defaults back to one row. And so every time you restart Maya, you'd have to type this in or make a shelf button or something. And that's super annoying. And so I've actually found a way to keep it so it will remember your shelf height every time you restart Maya. So you don't have to retype that code every time you restart it. And the way that you do that is our old friend, the user setup file from the previous video. If you're not familiar with the user setup file, I have a whole video on how to use it and edit it. And I will put that link to that video in the top right hand corner right now. So what you want to do is you want to go to C users, your username documents, Maya 2020 prefs scripts and right click and create new. Where is it? New. We want to do a text document and we want to name this user capital S setup dot M E L Mel and hit enter to create the file. Sure. Say yes. There we go. OK, and then I'm just going to right click that file that we just created and you can open it with the text editor of your choice. I use Notepad++, but you can just use regular old WordPad or Notepad, whatever you want. Edit that. OK, it opens the text file. And then what we need to do is we just need to go back into our Maya scene here. Where is it? Script editor and just grab that shelf height stuff there. Copy that with Control C or go to edit and click copy. Come back down to our text file, our user setup.txt file, and just paste that in there. 
paste. There we go. And then just do a file save. Okay, great. So we've got our code in the user setup file. Like I mentioned before, I have a whole video on the user setup file, so I won't explain it in the context of this video. But basically what it does is it allows you to run mel commands as Maya starts. And since Maya always resets this, if we put it in the user setup file, now each time it starts, it's going to run this little bit of code. So close that down and close this guy down. And then let's close Maya down and then wait one trillion years for Maya to close. Okay, cool, it's closed. So next up, we're going to go and reopen Maya, go to programs, launch Maya again. And if all goes well, we should see the uh, shelf height be double height. Okay, Maya's launching and we can already see, boom, there it is. So now every time I restart Maya, I'm gonna get the double height shelf. So pretty cool. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have an exceptional day.